Okay, in this tutorial I'll show you how I take advantage of the metric system when I'm designing models for my scenes. And this really ties in closely to these um, values in within here when we go into edit mode with this object down here. And we can come down here and look at the edge length for starters. So in the in a previous tutorial I was showing you how you could look at the lengths and the angles in here. Well there's, you have another option that's really cool and you just go up here into this scene button here and you notice by default it shows your units of measurement is set at none and degrees like this. Oh, This is really helpful so for instance I go into the face angles and then it's showing here's my 90 degree corners right in here. Well however for those of you who are been following my math tutorials, thank you very much, because this is really helpful for all of us, is I'll work in metric and with radians. And sure enough, right here, 1.57 radians. So these are 90 degree angles. And then in here you can see now we're, they're indicating the lengths with meters right here with a little m like this. Well, I tend to work in this all the time. I like the metric system because it's a lot simpler than using you know feet and inches and yards things like that because they don't scale very easily like for instance one foot is 12 times more than one inch but and one yard is three times more than one foot so they don't have these even ways of scaling versus in the metric system everything's always 10 times more or 100 times more a thousand times more or one tenth or one one hundredth and so it's very easy to convert between units just by moving the decimal place so it's a much much simpler system it's just the power of the metric system is not so much just saying, oh, I have to convert from feet to meters all the time. It's more like you just work in the metric system, and then it keeps things simpler. So the only thing I do for conversion-wise is when I start by building a model in the scene, I want to make sure that all the objects in the, my scene are scaled properly relative to each other. So, for instance, if I have a car in the scene relative to the size of a two-story building relative to anything else that might be in the scene that they're all scaled properly so I s typically start my work like this and I might start with a cube and I might say alright I have a uh, I have an object that's gonna be 20 feet in length right so I'll just go into a program and convert 20 feet to meters and it's 6.096 meters so then maybe in the Y direction I'll come over here and for under Y I'll type in 6.096 6.096 meters oh, it must have done something where I didn't type it in alright so there it is and then you notice when you go back into the program it still shows 2 meters but that's because when you change it like this you have to apply the scale with control A so I'm going to apply the scale like this then I'm going to go back into edit mode and there's my value so now it knows about that length so now I know that this is equivalent to 20 feet in length like this and 2 meters like this so that allows me to build my model accordingly and keep everything else in scale so this is really powerful if you want to work in feet and things like that you can use this option instead but I highly recommend working in the metric system even down here under gravity we'll be getting to this within the math lessons I'll be doing a lot of applied math lessons in the future where we're actually building a scene within Blender or doing something within Blender and incorporating the math at the same time so you can actually see how it's applied and what it's good for as we go along. A lot of the current math lessons are more just getting used to the basic math but the applied math is where the real fun comes in. But you'll notice in here even when within Blender when they're using gravity they're using it as a negative 9.81 meters per second squared. They're not using 32 feet negative 32 feet per second squared right so they use the metric system all the time and so do I so I highly recommend using it as well it's you know, like I said if you're not converting between things all the time it's just it's very straightforward and since we'll be using it a lot then it'll make a lot more sense all right well I just wanted to point that out because this is a really important aspect especially applying the scale when you're changing these things up all right that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video